Hey everyone and welcome back to Stoic Toolbox channel. Today we're diving into the fascinating world of Stoicism, an ancient philosophy that's seeing a resurgence in popularity today. And to guide us, we have one of the most prominent figures in Stoic history, the Roman Emperor himself, Marcus Aurelius, the Stoic ideal, a life in accordance with nature. Stoicism proposes a unique perspective on the good life. It emphasizes living in harmony with nature. But what exactly does that mean? Well, the Stoics weren't just talking about trees and animals. They saw nature as a grand system, a cosmic order with its own inherent laws. And for humans, living in accordance with nature meant fulfilling our own inherent potential. Imagine a mighty oak tree. It doesn't strive for praise or external validation. It simply grows as tall and strong as possible, fulfilling its natural purpose. That's the kind of approach Stoicism encourages. It's about focusing on becoming the best version of yourself, maximizing your human potential, and contributing positively to the world. Marcus Aurelius, the emperor who chose virtue. Now, let's talk about Marcus Aurelius. This wasn't your average emperor. Dudes in his position typically indulged in a life of luxury. Think money, wine, women, the whole package. But Marcus Aurelius was different. Despite wielding immense power and facing zero limitations, he chose a path of virtue. For 19 years, he ruled with integrity, prioritizing good character over fleeting pleasures. That's pretty darn impressive, especially considering the temptations that must have surrounded him. It makes you wonder, could we as ordinary people maintain such unwavering virtue in the face of constant desire? Meditations, a window into the mind of a stoic emperor. Luckily, Marcus Aurelius left behind a treasure trove of insights. His personal journal, aptly titled Meditations. It's not a self-help manual in the traditional sense, but rather a collection of his innermost thoughts and reflections. It's a testament to his character, revealing a man constantly striving for self-improvement. While Meditations wasn't intended for public consumption, it offers a powerful glimpse into Stoic principles. And the best part? You don't need a fancy degree to understand them. These are timeless ideas that anyone can benefit from. Living in harmony with the universe, fulfilling your potential. So how do we put Stoicism into practice? One key concept is accepting the natural order of things. Trees grow, caterpillars transform into butterflies. It's all part of a grand design. Humans too have a natural role to play. According to Stoicism, that role lies in fulfilling our potential and becoming the most virtuous people we can be. Marcus Aurelius didn't believe in chasing material possessions. He argued that true fulfillment comes from within, from striving to be kind, compassionate, and courageous. It's about reaching your full potential as a human being, not about accumulating a pile of stuff, dealing with difficult people and adversity, stoic strategies, Life throws curveballs and Stoicism offers guidance on navigating them. Let's face it, we all encounter unpleasant people. But here's the thing, getting angry or frustrated won't change them. Stoicism suggests looking inward. Maybe those bad people are simply ignorant, not malicious. Perhaps we ourselves have flaws we haven't recognized. Marcus Aurelius reminds us that we're all part of a larger whole. Just like different parts of nature serve different purposes, so too do different people. The key is to practice empathy, and remember that judging others won't do us any favors. And adversity? It's inevitable. But instead of dreading challenges, Stoicism encourages viewing them as opportunities for growth. When tough times hit, develop the resilience to face them head-on. Don't waste energy wishing things were different. Focus on what you can control your own reactions and responses. Stoicism and death, accepting the inevitable. Marcus Aurelius spent a lot of time contemplating death, and for good reason. It's the one thing guaranteed in life. Stoicism encourages accepting mortality, not fearing it. Death is a natural part of the cosmic order, just like birth and growth. Instead of dwelling on the inevitable, Stoicism suggests focusing on living a meaningful life. Be kind, be virtuous, fulfill your purpose. These are the things that truly matter. When your time comes, you'll face it with a sense of peace, knowing you lived a life of integrity.
the core of Stoicism, virtue over pleasure. If you're interested in learning more about Stoicism or diving deeper into philosophy, we have plenty more videos on the channel. Go check them out. Thanks for watching.